from Saturday Night Fever and Grease to Pulp Fiction and Face Off. John Travolta is a movie star in all sense of the term. His upcoming films will see the actor once again work with John Woo, as well as for the first time appear in a film with Robert De Niro. Travolta offered insights to how he picks his movie roles. First film choices, I always go by story first, um, and then the people that are who are involved. I used to like, I usually like a, an excellent director or, or an, another excellent actor. Uh, but uh, any one of these things can uh, persuade me into doing a movie. Do you know, recently I, there's a movie that's just opened uh, in the United States called Savages. And it's a success, and uh, it was directed by Oliver Stone, and that was what attracted to me. It was a good story, and it was Oliver Stone. So uh, the next movie is uh, called The Killing Season, and, and what attracted me was the story, and Robert De Niro, and we star together in that movie. And then next, hopefully, I'm doing a John Woo-produced movie called The, the Killer, which is a remake of, uh, of the, that, the, the classic movie. So directors uh, and artists involved and storyline are the things that mostly attract me. And as for shooting a film in Asia, Travolta hopes that his film project with John Woo might bring him back here again. Well, I was hoping that if I did this uh, remake of The Killer, it would be in Asia, but I'm not, I'm not sure now. I have to see. Uh, I'm going to meet with Mr. Wu and find out what, where, where they want to shoot it. But uh, I would love to do a movie in Asia. It would be... Uh, fantastic! I, I, I'm so impressed with with every big city I've been to, and uh, I, I think that uh, it's time to spend a little time here. So it would be it would be great. Travolta's childhood fascination with aviation has seen the actor balance his film career while becoming an accomplished certified pilot with seven jet licenses, two of them being for the 747 and 707 airliners. This commitment to aviation doesn't seem to be losing altitude anytime soon, with his want to be more involved in pushing aviation technology. But my fantasy in the future would be uh, to be somehow part of the supersonic corporate jet and the hypersonic airliner. I, I would really love to be part of a program that develops this. Uh, I do have a relationship with Bombardier, and um, I'm uh, an ambassador for them as well, and I have a relationship with Qantas. And I'm hoping between the two of these companies that I'll have an opportunity to, to contribute to something along these futuristic uh, ideas. Because before I pass on, I would love to see a supersonic corporate jet and I would love to see a hypersonic airliner. I think these would be very exciting. And, you know, we've lost a little bit since we've, we've uh, retired the Concorde and we all miss the Concorde. And there's no reason why we can't have something that at least alludes to this idea of something challenging in the future. You know, this would be a good thing for all of us. You know. That may be a future dream for the actor, but the dream of living right beside an airplane runway is a dream that is currently a reality for John Travolta. Uh, I do live uh, on an airport. I, my home houses a Boeing 707, and it also houses a Challenger uh, jet, Bombardier jet. And... Uh, Frankly, I can leave the bedroom and walk onto the plane and come to Singapore, which is kind of what I did. Uh, and it's really my daydream as a child was to live in a, in a home that was on an airport. So uh, the runway is right next to the house, and it's a fantastic uh, illusion. With most of his time spent flying planes in real life and sometimes in real life, you'll get no prizes for guessing which superpower the actor would want to have most. I don't have uh, uh, any particular superhero in mind, you know, <laughs> except one that would fly. <laughs> It'd be nice to fly without an airplane. Travolta is in Singapore for the launch of the Brightling Nevertimer Blue Sky. Only 500 pieces were made globally, with only nine being sold in Singapore. <laughs>